Welcome to the second TeamDoc Mobile instructional presentation. In the first video, we discussed system requirements and the quick start first time login process. In this video, we will cover the various screens in TeamDoc Mobile and how to navigate them, as well as dashboard functionality. Let's get started. When signing in on a computer, your username is the email associated with your account, and the password is the same one you created during the initial login. We recommend checking the Remember Me box when signing in for the first time, so you do not have to enter the information each time you log in. When you receive a message in Team.Mobile, a text is sent to your phone that includes the web address to log in. When you receive your first text, we recommend saving the number in your contacts as Team.Mobile or something to that effect so that you will be able to visually reference it quickly in the future. If your phone has internet capabilities, you can click on the link which will bring you to the smartphone version of the Team.Mobile website. It works identically for both iPhones and Android-based phones. On the Android-based phone, you are given the identical Remember Me option as you are on the PC-based version. On the iPhone, the wording is a bit different. It gives you the option to update password instead of reset. However, they serve the same purpose and we recommend clicking this button to prevent you from having to manually enter your username and password in the future. Once you have logged in, your message screen appears as the default home screen. This is the same for both PC and smartphone. Your messages section contains sender and recipient information, as well as patient name, status of the message, and the time date stamp. Open messages are light blue in color and remind you that final actions have not yet been taken on these messages. Closed messages are dark gray and indicate that the process has been completed. Unread messages include an additional small box to indicate they are unread. Messages will stay in your TeamDoc mobile inbox for 72 hours. If you need to access a message after this time frame has expired, call the Team Health Medical Call Center and a nurse or patient coordinator can look up the call in the triage system and provide details. When you click on a message using your computer, a detailed screen appears. At this point, you can review the message and click Reply by typing into the reply box and then pressing send to deliver your message. The predefined messages can be used to auto-type a message into the reply box. You can also call the nurse or patient coordinator back and even call the patient and hide your phone number. When clicking on a message using a smartphone, only the message will appear on the screen due to space constraints. Simply scroll down to locate the reply box and predefined messages and the callback options. A nurse or patient coordinator may send you a message that does not involve a triage outcome but does require a review and potential callback. These are called action required notifications and may include items like pharmacy information, lab results, newborn notifications, or information about a doctor that needs to speak to you. Depending on the type of call, you will see different callback buttons you can press. For example, you will see buttons to call the lab, pharmacy, a doctor, nurse, or the patient. However, there will be no text box to type a reply. Selecting one of the callback buttons will connect you to the selected individual and close out the documentation loop in the triage record. If the message does not require a callback, opening the message will automatically send notification to the Team Health Medical Call Center that the message has been received and read. The call will be closed, but you can get to the message again by selecting it from your messages screen. Smartphone action required messages include the same information and scrolling will take you to the same call options. Now let's talk about navigating through Team.Mobile. On your computer, each screen in Team.Mobile includes a left menu bar that remains static. Here you will find your two navigation tools that will take you to either your dashboard or your message screen. 
On your smartphone, the navigation toolbar is minimized due to space constraints, but includes icons for your message screen, dashboard, a tool that allows you to expand the toolbar, and finally the logout button. On both the computer and smartphone versions, the selected icon is highlighted. Clicking on the dashboard icon on your smartphone takes you to the TeamDoc mobile dashboard. Here you will find three options which are the same for the PC version. Help, View Messages, and Set Password. The Help button takes you to a help screen with contact information which we will show in a moment. Clicking the View Messages button simply transfers you back to the message inbox. And clicking the Set Password button walks you through the reset password steps reviewed in the first video. This is what the dashboard looks like on a PC. It also provides an unread messages notifications bar at the bottom. You can click the View Messages button to access these messages. Now let's take a look at the Help function. When you click on the Help button in your dashboard, you will receive the following message and a button that will immediately connect you to the call center if on your smartphone. Otherwise, a number is provided at the bottom of the message. Once you have read and responded to all of your messages and you are finished with TeamDoc Mobile, simply click the Logout button in the upper corner of your computer screen or click the Logout icon on your smartphone. This will end your TeamDoc Mobile session.